Split Decision MMA UK all the way up here in Scotland for FFC4 performance. We're here with Harry McDonald after a first round submission victory. Thanks for your time, Harry. Tonight. How are you feeling after that very quick victory? I still pumped, mate, I still, still high, I. Uh, did you um, plan for the fight to go like that, would you? No, I never had any, any plan for that. I heard it was a, a stand-up fighter. I just, I didn't go out there with a game plan. I just obviously take the fight as it comes and try and just adapt to it as it goes there. And we went to the floor. He had me in a good position. He lost it. And I just capitalised on the, took his back. That was it. Sunk the choke in. That was it, game over. And as soon as you sunk it in, did you know that was going to be it? Did you think you had a hope of getting out, or are you that are you really yeah, confident in your ground? You've got, once you've got it in, once you've got it in, that's it. Aye, there's no, there's no getting out that. I could have, could have tried big old, but I knew, I knew once it was the lock and the key was in. That was it. There was no getting out. And was there anything about him? I know it was a very quick fight, but anything that surprised you about him as it got going? No, it was his fight. It was his debut, his debut fight, and at the end of the day, we're all, we're all just getting started, eh? Mm. So. It takes a lot. Takes a lot to get in there. A lot of training. You go through a lot of training. So I take my hat off to him as well. He's went through a hard fight camp. He's for a well presented team, a hit squad. But I'm for headhunters and they train harder. So <laughs> a headhunter taking out a hit squad. It's, uh, it's, it's like a mafia. He'll be, he'll be. He'll be back. He'll be back. <laughs> and, um, you know, in the training up to this fight, you know what. You know, how's it been for you? You know, leading you up to this fight, and what's it like training with the guys at your gym? You know, how much have they helped you develop? They've helped me. They've, they've pushed my my level up so much over the over the time that I've that I've trained there. Yeah, it's there's the, the level of guys that are there are it's, it's through the roof. Eh? You've got pro fighters, you've got you've got Thai fighters that have been like had a chance to fight for world titles, amateur fighters. You've got all different levels. Eh? Great coaches. All different kinds of levels of guys. It's just one big family, yeah. And um, we don't want to keep you too long, let you celebrate the victory. Um, is there anybody you want to thank to uh, finish us off? I want to thank uh, Alex, mainly, and all, all the coaches, every coach at Headhunters, Headhunters Gym and Falkirk Gym. All the guys there, without them, I wouldn't have been able to, to be here uh, when the fight, get the training in, and just want to say hi to my mum. Uh, that. My family, aye. <laughs> hey, get everybody in. I know it's hard to remember everyone. Um, and um, we thank you for your time, and hopefully we'll see you again soon. Aye. And great victory. Aye. Big shout out to my corner man as well. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers for that. Yeah. Thank you.